All right, boys. Well, we're starting the video off writing a bunch of your guys' names. We got a bunch of orders over the past couple days, and Matt actually has this pretty good idea. I was going to write them, but my handwriting is so bad, it's not even funny. It'll honestly be a disgrace for me to do it, but Matt's got this pretty cool idea. Hit it. I was talking. is pretty vertical. You see the top of the car a lot. We're doing the roof. Might as well do a pattern for Americans. A little bit of American flag in the names, some white stripes, maybe throw the pink with the red. It'll be cool. So the first batch, we're gonna do the white stripes. So we figured the first batch, we're gonna try to fill up the whole roof with that. Yeah. So the next batch for this video, if we get enough orders, we'll fill up a whole nother section of a car. So if you guys wanna see this whole car designed by Matt, and honestly, a lot of people don't know this, you're actually a really good drawer. Yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah. But he actually went to art school for high yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, for high school and some videography there as well. Yeah, so I'm actually intrigued to see how this comes out. Matt's got the tape and everything. He's going to be taping everything out. I'm super excited. If you guys didn't know, any order, whether it's a dollar, 50, whatever it is, anything placed on www.junkforless.net before Mitsuri, we're going to be signing your name on the car. And I'm stoked that Matt's doing it because he can actually make it look nice instead of me scribbling everywhere. So you'll probably want it a little more after Matt's done. Um, just go down. We got these two new shirts right here. Honestly, they're one of my favorite designs that we have made throughout the channel. And I'm really stoked to share them with you. So if you want to support, great. If not, all good. Just watch and helps too. All right, boys, welcome to video number two of the JZX Teardown. So today I want to start working in the engine bay, maybe start pulling the transmission. A lot of things need to come out. We got to get the transmission out to do the clutch. We got to get the diff out to weld it. Sam was saying something about putting an LSD in it because LSDs here are super cheap. Like you can get like a nice two way or one and a half way diff for like 400 US and literally you just pop out the open diff and you can put it in that casing, which would be super sick. So if we can find that, I'd much rather do that. I'm super used to driving with welded, but I guess LSD is the way. But overall, the chassis is really clean. We got this nice exhaust, which is... Look up up there. Kakimoto, dude. Oh no, this is the... Doesn't Jasma mean the... Uh, what's it called, the Shocken? Shaka? Yeah, it's Shaka? like tooth. Yeah, it's just like a pruned or something. Yeah, it's their equivalent so of... So pretty cool. Got a nice exhaust hanger on the transmission. Overall, I mean, it's pretty clean. This thing absolutely leaks oil. Like, we had to do a 100-point turn because this car is super low. We actually ended up messing my fender up because um, the stance boy was too unreal. But Zach's coming to Ebisu, so Zach, if you're watching this, buddy, I already need you to help me fix this fender. It's a little wavy right there, but... First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack up the front to the moon because it needs to be Abisu spec. I guess the roads there, they're super steep and like I, c I couldn't even drive this to the lift without ruining the car. So that kind of tells us that um, we have to raise it, especially because these are only 17s and we need to find some 18s because I'm gonna be running 18s all around the car. But we gotta do the front main, which means we gotta untime the whole engine, which is absolutely terrifying because I've never worked on one of these cars. We gotta take the turbo out because we're gonna be replacing the turbo as well. Like I said, we gotta, um, we're doing the clutch, so we gotta pull the transmission. We're gonna be doing either LSD or welded, so we're gonna have to pull the diff as well. So today, I'm just gonna focus on tearing down stuff. If I get frustrated with one thing, we'll move on to the next, and soon we'll have, a, we'll have no parts on this car. <laughs> It'll be a shell until I get it back together. It's probably gonna be on the lift for a few days. Not the fastest worker, especially when it's a chassis that I'm not um, used to, but it should be pretty simple. I mean, m mainly cars are all the same. And Dudley, he actually just had to untime his 2J and they're literally identical. So I, I did watch him and help him with the process as well. The only things I don't love is I don't love setting the VVT because like it kind of moves a little bit. I've only done it once and that was on an NB Miata. And when I pulled the gear off, I pulled it off wrong and all of the needle bearings fell on the ground. I was absolutely devastated. Don't want to do that again, which we don't have to pull it because we're not going to be doing cam seals. So that's all right. But just retiming it, obviously I want to make sure it goes back together well. And also they have this um, tensioner right here that's like hydraulic, I'm pretty sure. And every time you have to set it, you have to actually put it in a vise. You have to squeeze it, then you have to lock it with like, um, like, a, with like a tungsten or something. So, and then you have to put it in and then pull it out. Don't love that. I'm sure it's easy. I just never done it, so I'm a little uncomfortable with that. But like I said, to, oh, blitz, huh? Look at that. We got a blitz intercooler. <laughs> Someone loved this car. I mean, someone loved it. And then someone got it and was like, you know what, we're gonna paint it blue. Me and Sam were talking, like maybe someone like 
got caught street drifting and they were kind of stressed out about it and they're like, oh my god, I'm gonna get arrested and they ended up just spray painting it with Raptor liner. Which yeah. is a weird move, but you know. Super clean. Smurfy Not even a speck of rust. Oh yeah, no, I mean, I guess I didn't even talk about that. There's no rust at all in this car, which is super cool. I guess it doesn't really fucking matter because as much as I say I'm not gonna crash the car, it's probably, I mean, we'd moved it 10 feet and I already ruined it which I'm fucking pissed about, but I guess that is just start of the carnage. But um, enough talking, I'm gonna start taking bits and pieces off. I'll probably start, I'm gonna start by raising the car. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh. All right, boys, so right now we are at 40 mil. We're at least going to 80. For sure, we have to. Abisu spec, baby! Oh, I love when that happens, thank God. Oh. All right, we are at 70 mil. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. If we have to go more, it's super easy. These aren't seized or anything. Cause I don't want this thing, Abisu spec. I understand I have to. But if we can get away with 70 mil, we're leaving at that. So I gotta go do the other side. <laughs> 70 mil on the money. Let's move on to the next project. All right, we're gonna pull the radiator out. Let's drain the fluid. All right, take the nuts off. See if we can shock that clutch fan free here. Oh, there it is. Jesus. Play some Tetris. I love Tetris. Out in one piece, baby. Bad, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Oh, it's so bad. That bad. Oh, man. You should be, uh, you should be radiating that out at the same time. So take these at 10 mils out and should oh, really? come out. Yeah, no, I guess you're your, right. Under your bottom hose, just make sure you don't miss that sensor down there. Yeah, I see that. What a, a lot of us do too is we connect those two wires together and the fans will constantly be on here. Oh, I definitely want to do that. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no, well, we gotta get I you. mean with the clutch fan, it should never overheat. Yeah, but you're hot lapping nonstop. True. Hopefully that shroud's not too damaged, but we'll be able to get you a new one. What do you mean? That shroud's sure fucking mint, dude. Left. Exactly. I need PTSD. Oh, Why? It's the positive's hidden. Yeah. Yo, chill, dude. Don't you got an engine to build, bro? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're really fucking stalling over there, hey? Eh? Sleepy. <laughs> so tired. Go get a coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna make one. So I'm kind of jumping around right now because I'm still waiting for this coolant to drain before I take the radiator out. So we're just gonna take this um, top coil pad cover off. We'll take the front cover off as well because we're gonna have to untime this and take it apart anyways. So might as well take it apart, we'll keep all of the bolts together and stuff. But honestly, for never messing with a 1J or anything, I mean, I guess I haven't really gotten into it too much, but so far so good. I mean, the hardest part was the sensor right here because it was, I, I hate sensors. I understand you squeeze them, you push it in, you pull it out. Sometimes the, the, the fingers hurt, you know? What the hell? Oh, that whole thing comes off, okay. Oh. Oh, there's no Allen keys there. Uh, there is Allen keys there, but they're not holding anything. Uh, okay, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Come on, do I know one J's, 14? 14? <laughs> Come on, get off that alternator, bitch. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter? You gotta be fucking me, dude. Fuck you. Good. Now it don't matter, bitch. <laughs> I didn't look how that went, but Sam knows how. <laughs> Pays to have friends that know um, how to get this back together. I didn't take a picture. You can look up a diagram, it doesn't matter. Oh, really, dude? That power steering's in my way, bro? Come on. That was a dumb design, Toyota. Not cool, dude. 
You'll love this. So all the Allen keys, they're five mils, right? Got a five mil here, but the power steering pump is in my way to get to that Allen bolt. Look at I found some Allen keys. Look what's missing here. This is, this is the story of my life here. Okay, all right. Relax, everything's fine. I'm just pouring the coolant into the bucket, don't mind me. <laughs> She's out, baby. Sam's tool is one. I'm taking the pulley off. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, tell me that's seized. Come on, tell me. Come on, tell me. All that just to do this right here, ready? Oh, amazing work. Love what you've done with the place. Was there a fucking bolt in there? Yeah, there's definitely one there. Oh, for sure. Oh, fuck you, bro. This is too big. It's war now. Ha ha. Always feels good when you get another part, you know? Oh, look at the sludge, bro. Come on. Damn it. Dude, this thing's an oily piece of shit. How do I get this thing off? Talking about the tensioner. There's three bolts visible. I know if I take those off, there's gonna be a fourth one, and I have no idea how I'm gonna get to that yet. Let's start with the crank pulley. Hopefully you don't have to jaws of life that off. So I can't find a breaker bar, so uh, Sam, if you're watching this, and I uh, break this, or the ratchet, I'm, I'm really sorry in advance. But I got work to do, and I don't got time to look for the tools, you know? It's in gear. Huh. Oh, it's in gear. Yeah, the heat break is out. Oh, bastard. Is this gonna fit? <laughs> no, it's not. The bar is probably over here. It is over here. Hey, Chris. 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 Oh, come on. That's it. Wheels are going on the ground. It's war again. <laughs> Every step of the way is a war. <laughs> if this thing gets it off, this 3 8 gun. Oh, come on, I doubt this is gonna work, but Matt's in the car. I found a breaker bar, so Sam, don't worry about your tools. They're fine. Everything's fine. Here we go. You gotta be serious, dude. <laughs> Watch this thing be like reverse threat or something. I fucking kill myself. Oh, hasn't come out? No. Put it in fifth gear and get him on the brake and use the brake above. I've been doing that, dude. No fucking way. <laughs> I use the jack pole and everything, dude. It's not working. Fuck off. You're in fifth? Go fifth ahead. Fifth gear, fifth gear. Go ahead. Come on, buddy. You're in fifth gear? Yeah. Is it moving at all? No, the whole th motor moves. Hey, you're blocking our shot, bro. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dude, Wait. I'm telling you, bro, it's in there, man. Who put this on? I don't know. Who put this Marcus on? Parks put it on <laughs> with those gorilla hands. What the actual? You're not fitting the gun. I've already tried the gun. I've, I've done everything. We don't need AC, so we can just take the condenser out, right? I already talked about it. I was gonna. That was that was Plan Z. Yo, you're gonna fucking fall. Dude, the whole fucking breaker bar is bended, dude. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that thing's gonna snap in half, dude. <laughs> oh god, can you put the thing down? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yo, I'm dude. like worried for my face. Yeah, I, I'm worried for everything. What the hell? Dude. I've never had one of these on here that bad. You sure you're not tightening? No, he's not. You like that, dude? <laughs> Yo, can you just get my bolt out? They're please? not reverse threaded on this, are they? I was thinking the same, but no, I because I've I've taken mine on and off. You so know many what we can do? We can bump the starter. <laughs> we can, just That's, hold on tight, Matt. Start it. <laughs> freaking die. Bro, dude. dude. There's no way. Dude, well, there's a way because it's happening. <laughs> there's just no way. Oh man. Pretty good progress though, huh? 
I'm impressed with the breaker bar. Yeah, <laughs> the breaker bar hasn't broken yet. <laughs> what the hell, though? Yo, hurry up, because the camera's almost dead, and I'm trying to get this bolt out. Good to know, good to know. <laughs> This isn't. I got it. I got it. You got it? I'm not joking. Oh! I got it. Nice, dude. Dude, that it. was mental, bro. I swear to God, there's like a week's worth of like freaking um. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so tired. A week's worth of Loctite. Who that says that? That was sick. It's still no, straight. No, it's still straight. Straighter Damn. than that. Dude, I, I was waiting for this to break. Yeah, honestly, I didn't expect anything to go well once I saw the breaker bars. Dude, bending. now it's now it's finger tight. Yeah, so it's weird. By hand. Is there a bunch of white shit on it? Dude, it's, it's nothing's on it. Someone oh just talked the God. hell out of it. It's dry as a bone. Yeah, there's no white. That's crazy. I never. You don't lock tight crank bolts, right? Because I, I mean, don't. If you, it's like peace of mind, I normally throw like purple or blue on it. Purple? What's purple? Purple's weaker just than really, blue? really weak. Yeah, weaker oh, than blue. I didn't. It's just like a soft one. one. Cool. That must be some JDM shit. Yeah, cool. she's a bit dirty, eh? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I'm pretty upset. The belt. Go, look at the front cover. Over oh. there, behind you. Look at that front cover. Dude, oh. there's sludge everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, put it in the tray and parts cleaner. Yeah. The belt looks new, though. Go figure. Well, we might as well change it if we're here. Yeah. Put a Tomei one on. Yeah, hell yeah. Probably should do a new tensioner, too. I don't <laughs> think this is your cam seals. I think it's just the front main is so bad, the timing belt's been picking it up. Yeah, it's just like everywhere. spitting it everywhere. Yeah. I mean, we're still gonna do cam seals. Oh, you wanna do cam seals? Might as well. Oh, we should, but that means we gotta take the gears off. The gears, no, it's not bad to take the gears off. Yeah, we should do it. Just for peace of mind. Like this is just, you don't know where it's coming from. Mm. There's so much oil everywhere. Mm. I don't know if Chris showed you guys, but like this thing moves, like just starting the engine, oil's dripping from the front. Yeah, no, I did say that. Like literally we Does ran it, it for like 15 <laughs> seconds. And there was oil all over the ground from does it just it have sitting. Oil in the engine? I, just look at you this. probably should have checked that. Oh, it does. It does. It does. Yeah, it's, good. It's all crazy right. things. Well, boys, we have upgraded. We officially have gloves, which huge ups, huge ups. We're gonna take the tensioner off now because Sam is actually building uh, two J over there, and I looked at his head. There's only three bolts, so I'm gonna ignore the crank pulley for now, and just do that first. Sorry if I'm screaming. I got music in my head. I'm liking this 1J shit. This is not bad, dude. Crank pulley time. All right, so we got the pulley on, or the pulley puller, I should say. And it's just about to come off. Huh? Do you have one of those? I don't, actually. That's like the one tool How I do don't you have. Off? Huh? How do you get a harmonic balancer off or a pulley off? You fucking, you pull it? Or do you just rent it every time? No, no, I just get them off. What, by hand? Yeah. Every time? Every time. Dang. Chris Swolnick, bro. Swolnick? I'm Sam Solik's lost oh cousin. Gosh. So, I have a question, Chris. What's up? If the bolt is in, do you think the pulley will come off with the bolt in? No. Where do you think it, the pulley is right now? Is it bottomed out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> okay, you got me. <laughs> You got me, dude. Take the bolt out and then we'll just <laughs> That's the funniest shit ever. Fucker! <laughs> you always catch me doing the dumbest shit. Damn it! Oh, this is awkward. Now it's stuck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. We got a crank pulley, boys. Let's go! Check the rear of it for cracks. They like to fall off on these. If that ever happens, um, you just buy a fluid damper and it never happens again. Mm. Just another 6 on DA. Eh? Yeah, unfortunately. Everything's just 6 on D around here. Oh, you want this? 6 on D. You want a bride seat? 6 on D. Everything's a 6 on D. Oh, LSD, dude? I got you 6 on D. 6 on D. I guess that's better than paying a lifetime of 20%. Yeah. Pretty keen seat. Dude, this is bad. Look at this thing. Holy cow, dude. Oh. Um, wasn't joking when I said the front mate's effed. Bro, this is terrible. We're really opening a can of worms here. How's it going? This is how far I made it. I kind of stopped filming, because I, to be honest, I kind of lost motivation. I got lazy, but I made it a little further. We got the rocker covers off. 
We um, have it to top, top dead center, and we're ready to go, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Now that I'm looking at it, I wouldn't mind working, but let's go eat. Yeah, let's go eat first. Yeah, where, where are we going? I'm gonna get Yakiniku King. Dude. Third night in a row. Third night in a row. I, how many salads have I eaten at? Eight? Probably 10 by now. Nah, we have to film the courses this time. We gotta yeah. do it. It's been, what, fucking eight courses of King Sloppy? Oh, yeah. Matt loves getting sloppy. We all get King, King sloppy. sloppy together. <laughs> getting sloppy with the you boys. You like slobbing all over that King, eh? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go get sloppy. Yo, you ready for that two hour commute, dude? All right, time check. 9.38. 9.38. Let's see how long it takes us to get home, dude. What we got a walk, three trains, and then another. The, ooh, that, that one's like a mile and a half, the last walk. Yeah. Woo! Dude, well, when in Rome, do as the Romans were in Japan, take the trains. Japan's cool, though, because it's like, dude, I was walking home at midnight last night. I'm the sketchiest dude on the block. Yeah. Dude, the, the first night I went to the gym, I had my hood up like this. Slugged out. I was thugged out, right? I had music blaring. I took a wrong turn. So I just like turned around really quick and there was a Japanese guy behind me, dude. He jumped like I was about to jump him. And I'm like, oh, sorry, sorry. He's, he's walking like this. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, chill, bro. Chill. I'm not gonna do anything, I swear. Dang, dude, it do, you do look pretty cool right now. Do I? Yeah. And like, I'm a psychopath. So like when I'm walking, I try to walk with effort. So I walk like this. Right. The whole time, I'm just walking like this, so I probably look like a freak. Ready but I'm just trying to keep the heart up. All right, we'll see you in two hours. All right, boys, time check, 10.55. That means we got here in an hour and 15 minutes. Considering it took us, what, two and two hours and 20 minutes this, yeah, this morning? morning? We got completely lost multiple times. We didn't know what train to take, when to get off, but to be honest, I only had to use the GPS like once or twice. That place is open, right? All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, want some water. But yeah, honestly, for $10 for two people to get 35 to 40 minutes by car, but at public transport instead, I consider that a win. I wish America was more like this. I honestly, I wouldn't even drive. I kind of consider that relaxing. You know, you get a little cardio, you get a little exercise in. Yeah. We walked a total of a mile and a half, just like between like trains and shit and like all of that. I kept pausing it and stuff. So, and I mean, pulse. that's a free mile and a half right there. Yeah. That's like 1,500 steps. Because yeah, okay. I think it's 3,000 or 3,500 for a mile. Oh, I don't know. My math's completely wrong. I don't care. It's late. I got up early and we will see you guys right now. All right, boys. Well, it's been a while. Um, come back here. Come over here, Matt. I got into one of those moods where I just didn't pick up the camera. I was just listening to music and I was just pulling parts off. So we got the transmission off. We got the clutch off. Obviously drive shaft, exhaust, all of that stuff. All of that's done. I just took the downpipe off because I'm working on actually removing the turbo. And we are just about to remove this J pipe right here. I think I just took the last bolt out. Dude, it's just like Legos. I love working on like something new that doesn't suck. Mm -hmm. Like working on like a Jeep or something for the first time, like that just sucks. Like everything's rusty, whatever. But like this ain't bad, dude. You know, you just kind of look around, you figure it out and I mean, I guess I shouldn't be too cocky right now because I still gotta put it back together. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm just kind of starting from the top and building it down like Lego pieces. I'm a little iffy on all these bolts right here. You can see we'll probably spray some WD-40. Maybe they can get in. I hope those don't snap because I want to just reuse everything because the turbo we have, it's like stock, but it's an upgraded stock. So it's got the billet wheel inside so it doesn't explode like the ceramic ones and stuff. And it's just not worth to um, try to drift for like two weeks straight with a stock turbo. So we're just gonna replace that. I'm gonna now work on taking this heat shield off and um, just um, one bolt at a time, you know what I mean? I forgot to spray, but they came out really good. Well, the first one did, let's see this one. Oh no. Oh dude, this is gonna snap. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. God, that hurt my soul. Yeah. Yo, dude! That's a, that's a weird manifold. It is kind of weird, isn't it? This is easy as, though. Are you kidding me? So, since I've never worked on this car, or this engine before, I'm just rip. Dude, that hurts. What did you just do? I just dropped the bolt, bro, and it yeah. didn't fall. 
since. Remember in the beginning of the video where it was still, um, where it took forever for the coolant to leak? It's day two. Coolant's still leaking. <sighs> Definitely was an easier way, but I'm fucking fully committed now. This thing is never gonna stop leaking. <laughs> this is scary. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, at least me. <laughs> I definitely been waiting for this moment. That's off. Pick it up. Behemoth. Yeah, she's a unit. She's an absolute unit. It's a boy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's mainly a girl, actually. She's a, she's a bad girl. A little honey. Little honey. She's a honey. Uh, so Shout out Dudley. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. <laughs> Throw it in the garbage. Saw a bastard. Dang. Not bad, I told you, one hour. Yeah, it probably honestly took me about an hour. It really wasn't that bad. Oh yeah, man. Definitely get uh, a couple bottles of pots cleaner on that. Dude, it sucks. That front main must have been leaking. I think every seal on the front of this. Yeah, the rocker leaking. covers were definitely leaking as well. Everything's covered in oil. Like, What do you everything. think about engine mounts? We might. Oh, it's the rabbit hole, dude. I hate the rabbit well, hole. Yeah, definitely serial nine ones are the move. Yeah. If you want this car to feel amazing, serial nine engine mounts plus everything in the rear, it literally changes how the whole car is. It adds response as well because mm. the engine's not moving and stuff like that. It's like that initial kick is so much better. Um, you feel the tor torque more? Yeah, but also like these engine mounts are probably sad. I it's, mean. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if we do all of that and we get that whole package, yeah, it just means this car's gonna be dead on the lift for a while, that's all. Which is fine. Honestly, realistically, if I just manned up, I can probably have this thing together in a day and a half. Like, Yeah, no, you could, but the thing is, is like, while you're here, you might as well do I this, know. you might as well do that, no, because <laughs> if you don't do that... While you're here, you might as well spend another five grand, you You're know? building an Ebisu missile, you never want to touch it. You just want true. it to run non-stop, rock true. up and drive. So, that's what we do. Dude, I'm actually stoked. Like, this is the first time I want to part one of these, and it's not bad. No, it's good, right? This is, there's honestly no stress at all. Do you know if, if uh, I've never researched this, but do you know if you can take the VVTi single turbo manifold, will that bolt onto the non-VVTi 1Js, like in your 90? <laughs> I love how I just said, yeah, I've never worked on these before. He's no, like, but you have a 90. Tech, I've never worked on them before. When people do the JZX100 radiator and clutch fan thing, can you just do a, a single turbo swap on them too? Does that work? Does anyone know in the comments? I'm generally That curious. would be sick, because that then would be I would cool. just throw that up. Exa well, I mean, the well, turbo's pretty sad, I think. But get another one of those like OEM ones with the billet wheels. The front's not too bad. It'd be interesting to see what the rear's like. So what does the other smoking. turbo have with it? Anything? Or do I just have I to think you gotta take out? all that off studs and everything, yeah. Jeez, dude. Yeah, so one thing on these turbos is like once you're at one bar, it's kind of like anyone's guess when you're gonna lose the rear wheel. Just like Skylines, the moment you go past 12 PSI, the rear wheel just falls off. They're like, at a, they're made of like uh, ceramic or something. Upgraded turbo so that he'll never have an issue. And we also get these guys to machine the rear housing a tiny bit more and gives it a little bit more space around the rear wheel. Because the biggest issue with these, it's not actually the wheels per se, it's how they're balanced and how the bearings work. Apparently the shaft gets a little play in it. So they machine a little bit more space around the rear housing so that it has a little bit more room to move and bend and flex, which is so bizarre. I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do. I can't believe you just touched it with dirty hands, but... Oh, I don't give a fuck. Okay. You can't see it. It's all good. She's good, buddy. That's actually sick, though. Yeah, so really see nice. the rear wheel? Mm. And see, they machine a little bit more around it so it can flex and move around a bit. Because mm. these things, the biggest thing that kills them is the bearing in the core. Yeah. It's just not designed to hand no, handle. They explode, right? Yeah. Did this come with any gaskets? Oh, dude! Oh. No, just a book that tells you how good the rebuild was and they're testing it. I thought that was a tough You can send this off to them and they'll do the same thing. So if you blow up your turbo or How anything, much, send it to them. What would it cost to do that? Uh, about the same amount. The, 600. Yeah, about no, a 600. A little more than 600. It is a little more than 600, but. More. This is cool. But okay. yeah, I mean, at this rate, are we just going to get you a full VRS kit, full gasket kit? It would come with a head gasket. But... 600? No, I'm not taking the head off. Dude. No, no, chill. It just chill. Comes, it's a full gasket yeah. kit for your engine. It just comes with one. You don't use it, but. 
Yeah, should we do AOP head studs? I got them on the shelf, yeah, 600. Shit. Yo, that's expensive. Yeah, that is expensive. What about the rear? We might as well get a gasket for that. It's just like if I have to pull this all apart and we're here, what's another 30 bucks here, 30 bucks there? Yeah, yeah I mean, maybe hit up, a, um, hit up Ben from Artec. He makes an OEM replacement too. Manifold. Does he? Yeah, if you're waiting a week. Shout out Artec. Yeah. Ben, Artec Ben's literally just like, F you, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Ben does make some good stuff. He does. Artec. You see the freaking one on the 2J? Dude, Big so, daddy. They're so beautiful. Beautiful and they work and they don't crack. Bro. That was a good bounce. All right, boys. Well, we got the whole car disassembled for the most part. I don't want to take the dip out yet because tomorrow we're actually going to be going to Tome. We're going to be getting a dip and stuff. So I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. I already started a little bit. We got the axles off and stuff. So um, until tomorrow, we're going to get an LSD. We're actually going to go check out Up Garage for the first time. Well, first time in five years. And uh, I think I'm going to buy a seat there as well. So tomorrow should be a banger. Really excited about that. Sam, if you want to watch his video, it, this car is literally about to start in what? An hour, Sam? Less. Less than an hour. About to start That's exciting. Now. And what's more exciting is Sam said I get first test rips, which is kind of crazy. I mean, you can come to the passenger seat. Nah, let me drive that sucker. No. Dude, I just drove a 700 horsepower 2J. I can handle a thousand. After round one, bro. I got, a, like, I got a lot riding on round one, so we gotta go. Well, I'll break it in for you. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's a new engine. Don't you have to like break it in and stuff? Yeah, of course. We're breaking it in, dyno tuning on the 28. It's a to break it in. Yeah, yeah. Dude, let me let me get it on the streets of Japan with that bad girl, you know? <laughs> Sam does not want that. But anyways, guys, appreciate you watching all the way to the end. If you guys watched it, say banana in the comment section. If you guys want to support, go get some merch. Help us finish the American flag on the roof that Matt has did an absolute killer job on. And I'm happy he did it because, to be honest, I would have butchered it because I just... I'm not, I'm not a writer. Yeah. We're back to the banana thing though. I like that. Yeah, dude. I eat bananas the long way with the peel. If this video gets, let's call it 3,500 likes, we'll start next video with me eating a banana peel long ways. Ooh, the whole peel and all? The whole peel and all. There's gonna be no context or no talking or anything. I'm just gonna sit there and eat a banana really awkwardly and just eat it. Suffer, peel and all. Suffer for the likes. Honestly, I, it's not that bad. Have you ever tried no, it? No, 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 you gotta make it sound like it's bad so they do it. Well, I'm sure so, some people might wanna say it. Some people are like, oh, I'm disliking this, dude. <laughs> I don't wanna see that. But anyways, thank you for being here.